Today, we will be discussing about muriatic acid, its toxicity, and its management. Muriatic acid is also known as hydrochloric acid or HCl. It is a multi-purpose substance. It can be used as cleaners to get rid of tough stains and molds. As chemical component in producing or manufacturing certain products like detergents and plastics. As neutralizing agent in masonry and as activator of oil wells. But did you know it is also the same with the acid produced in the stomach during digestion. However, outside the body, it exists in dangerous concentrations. In fact, 600 moles per liter concentration can kill a person and 50 to 150 mol per liter can make a person blind. Concentrated HCl, on the other hand, is actually known to be highly corrosive. We believe that prevention is better than cure. So to prevent any harm, simply put on safety equipment such as masks, gloves, and thick clothing before using HCl. Use it in a well-ventilated room and make sure to keep containers closed and in an upright position when not in use. Now that we already know the uses and fatal concentration of muriatic acid and some precautionary measures to take to avoid harm, then it is time to discuss further about its toxicology. There are three types of routes of exposure to muriatic acid that causes toxicity. These are inhalation, ingestion, and skin and eye contact. Inhalation is an important route of exposure to muriatic acid. Its odor and highly irritating properties generally provide adequate warning for acute high-level exposures. Muriatic acid vapor is heavier than air and may cause asphyxiation in close, poorly ventilated or low-lying areas. Inhaling and breathing in muriatic acid may cause bluish color to lips and fingernails, chest tightness, choking, coughing, coughing up blood, dizziness, low blood pressure, rapid pulse, shortness of breath, and weakness. Ingestion of concentrated muriatic acid can cause severe corrosive injury to the lips, mouth, throat, esophagus, and stomach. This includes severe abdominal pain, difficulty in breathing due to swelling of throat, severe chest pain, drooling, fever, severe mouth pain, rapid drop in blood pressure, severe throat pain, and bloody vomiting. And if the muriatic acid touches your skin or eyes, it may cause severe chemical burns, blisters, pain, and vision loss. Sam! What to do if you suspected a muriatic acid intoxication? Sam! Sam! The first thing to remember is to bring the victim to a safer area and call 911 if necessary. Then secure airway, breathing, and circulation or the ABC. If victim is conscious, let the victim drink four to eight ounces of milk or water. Do not induce a mess. Do not administer activated charcoal and do not attempt to neutralize stomach content. 
if he or she can assist himself or herself, advice to wash thoroughly with soap and water the affected area. If eye is contaminated, flush with plain water or saline for 15 minutes. If a victim is unconscious, ensure adequate respiratory rate and pulse rate. Then, the following can be done by the rescuers and medical team for a compromised patient. First, for trauma, stabilize the cervical spine with a collar and backboard. Administer oxygen, assist with bug valve mask device if necessary. If respiratory compromised, secure airway respiration via endotracheal tube. If not possible, perform cricotyrotomy if equipped and trained. Administer bronchodilators to reverse bronchospasm. Pain medication and burn treatments should also be administered if necessary. That's it for muriatic acid poison. Hope you have learned something today.